nor in their names. Around 200 people took to the street on Sunday, August 21st, condemning the so-called national education is nothing more than brainwash education, as the main theme of the subject is to glorify the People's Republic of China, the PRC, a communist regime which has a long history of brutality over the past 62 years. The move comes following the chief executive Sir Donald Zhang's policy address back in October 2010 in which he pledged a new curriculum, namely national and moral education, to be introduced to primary and secondary education in September 2012. Well, we believe that a, a real national education is good for our young people. But what the proposal uh, is about is not an all-round uh, uh, curriculum because it only focuses on the positive and what they call the development, the uh, parts of China. And we believe that children and young people should be should be uh, should have the uh, should should have the access to all the news in China, including news about Ai Weiwei, Liu Xiaobo, and the June the fourth uh, event. And if the curriculum is only focusing on one side, and we believe this is uh, uh, not a, a suitable curriculum for the young people. What sort of impact would cause if the new curriculum is introduced? is implemented. We, we are worried that young people will not get the whole picture and if they cannot get the whole picture they will not form a real uh, uh, concept about China and we think this is against the education philosophy. The educa educationists in Hong Kong are all against the, the brainwashing elements in the curriculum. According to our survey, over 70% of frontline teachers are against the curriculum. If they do not listen to frontline teachers' opinions, I think frontline teachers will probably not cooperate with the government. Uh, actually, this subject is uh, brainwash education. Just let uh, our students to uh, love the uh, Communist Party and uh, do not have uh, any do not give opportunity to, uh, to, for students to choose. But Hong Kong has already reverted to Chinese rule for 14 years and the introduction of this subject is something inevitable. You, you've got to embrace it. Why you are opposing it? Uh, we think that um, Hong Kong has uh, liberal and we should let the students to choose. Uh, they can choose to love China or uh, they hate China or uh, they can have the opportunity to choose. They will uh, love the Communist Party or they, will, they don't like the Communist Party. But uh, in the, this uh, moral and national education subject, uh, the government just let uh, people to choose to love the Communist Party. From, from the students' perspective, what, what sort of impact will cause if the subject is implemented? Uh, we think that uh, student, uh, some of the students uh, will really be uh, brainwashed and they will just uh, only know how to uh, be the uh, slave of the uh, Communist Party. The demonstrators also accused the government of trying to play down the row by not inviting students to have their say in the consultation process. They also threatened that they would take further action if the government refused to scrap the module. It's been 14 years since the PRC reclaimed the sovereignty of Hong Kong from Britain in 1997 after 156 years of British administration. But it seems the people of Hong Kong are reluctant to give up their own identity by recognizing the communist regime as the motherland in their hearts, which has a long history of brutality over the past 62 years. No wonder why people of Hong Kong, especially the new generation, are disgusted by the idea. The battle of defending independent thinking, perhaps Hong Kong people's identity, continues. Eric Lowe, INT, Lower Albert Road.